Hello everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and uh, today I want to show you something that's part of all my Fretboard Toolbox uh, complete editions and uh, for all the instruments, ukuleles, banjos, um, uh, guitar, uh, mandolin, mandola, tenor banjo, um, I, I wanted to know uh, how does the notes all over here relate to a piano because the confusing part is there's a lot of overlapping here and I, I didn't have a way to visualize that um, but I figured one out and I uh, want to show you today how that works and see if you might find anything interesting. Uh, let's take a look. Okay if you want to uh, see how um, to see how the guitar relates to a uh, piano if you uh, take a look at a fretboard toolbox complete guitar edition and you flip to page 8 you will see a whole bunch of different stuff and and I set all this up to to teach myself because I wanted to know kinda how this all relates here and uh, and, and what I found is that uh, if you can see a whole 88 key um, piano here and you think of each of the octaves starting with C as a different color then if you look down on a uh, on this uh, color-coded fretboard layout what you're going to see is that all these various colors match up with the octaves here and then on the piano what I did was uh, I made some some colored arrows so that I could see which octave I was was uh, playing in because I wanted to see how all these notes all up and down the guitar fretboard related to what's going on here so uh, what we can do is if you take a look at, uh, at the sixth string, the fat one here, you'll notice it's an orange E and uh, if I look on the piano I'm gonna have, uh, it's called E2 is an orange E and, uh, and that's gonna be the same note as this E here so if I, uh, I can't really show you here because it's right on the edge but you have to trust me that this is an E and notice it's in the orange section here so I've got, here's uh, E, this is E2 on a piano and then if I play my, my open 6th string here, that's going to be E2. Then um, the A note um, is the next one here, the 5th string open is an A, and that is uh, A2. And A2 is the note right here. The 4 note, uh, four string is a, is a D note, and that's in the blue section here, D3. Uh, and then if I look on the piano here, this uh, this blue D right here is my is my D note from the four string. The uh, the three string is a is a G note, and that G note is the uh, is the G three up here, and so G three is in the blue here. And then the two note is a B, uh, and that's also in the B three section. So here's my B3, and here's my B note. And then the top string, or the one string, the skinny string, is a, is a green E. So that's uh, an E, uh, E4. And notice this is middle C here on the piano, just for reference. So uh, the high-pitched guitar string is this E right here. And then what you can see on the guitar is that it runs... Um, it runs up to uh, about A5 here on the 17th fret and then it goes a little bit past here but I can't show that on my books because I just ran out of space but the A5 is in the maroon section up here and uh, the A5 is right here and so A5 on the here's the, t here's the 12th fret of the guitar here's 14, 15, 16, 17 So that's just the A5. And then what I also wanted to be able to do was I wanted to be able to see on a treble clef with the way that they write guitar music or if I wanted to look at piano music and see um, how do I see which notes here correlate with what's going on down here. And what I can see is that like this green uh, middle C which for a piano would be written down here on guitar the middle C is shown up here so, so that the notes fit on a, on a treble clef better. So it's usually like you'll see an 8VA below here, which means an octave below. It's kind of confusing, and I'm not sure I get it all. But uh, the main idea is that any of these orange E's, or, I'm sorry, any of these orange colored notes here are going to correspond with this octave. Any of the blues correspond with, uh, with this uh, third octave here. Um, maybe the fourth, I don't know how you want to look at it. Third complete one. 
And so uh, if I wanted to, if I play this D note on the 10th fret um, of the 6th string, that's right over here, that's the D that's in the blue here. So this 10th fret D, which is shown right here, is also the same as the D on the 5th uh, fret of the 5 string. So, uh, since it's a blue D, and then it's the same as the four string open. So that was D, D, D. If I want to be able to understand how does a guitar chord relate, um, what I could look at is, like if I look at a C major chord, it's made of the notes C, E, and G. And I have lots of chord building videos you can check out if you're not sure how that works. But uh, what I have here is C3, E3, G3. C4, E4. So on a guitar, that C major chord looks like this. C, E, G, C, E. And then to see how that relates on the piano, uh, I start with this blue C. So here's C, and then the blue E, and then the blue G, and then middle C, and then the E. So that's on the piano, on the guitar. So, um, I'm not sure uh, why you might find this useful unless you want to understand how, uh, how treble clef uh, music works, you want to transpose stuff from, from a piano sheet music to guitar, uh, or if you're just a curious person like me and you want to know kind of how it's all laid out and you want to see which notes are all in the same octave, it's real easy to see here. And then, and then if you had a piano and you wanted to tune your guitar with a piano, I guess you could do it that way. Um, so anyways, hope you found something useful here and I uh, appreciate you taking a look and, and please subscribe if you did find something useful and, uh, and check back often for more videos. Thanks for taking a look.